What's going on guys? This Friday, we're gonna launch one of the things that I have been talking about. I've been talking to a lot of people. If you're one of the people who've called in to help me develop these new products, I wanna say thank you. Friday, we're gonna start probably on the group training and then we're gonna start on the mentorships next week. If you want to go ahead and book a call or get on the list, because if you get on the list, you still will get the discounts that I'm giving the people who help me. The list is below. All right, so let's get into this video. I went out and noticed that Black Friday wasn't really Black Friday, and I've been reading your comments and stuff, and all right, let, let, let's go ahead and have this conversation. Uh, shopping online is nothing new, and it's like more people are shopping online. Um, do you understand that Amazon used to have 50% of online shopping a few years ago? So shopping online is nothing new. Uh, I have been selling stuff online since 2000. eBay, Amazon, uh, Craigslist. Facebook Marketplace didn't, didn't, I don't even think it existed when I was in the storage auction business, but if it did, I would have been using that. So this whole notion that more people are selling online, no, no, people don't have the money. Okay, that's the issue. It's not that, you know, people are buying, they, they don't have the money. And I will agree with a lot of your assertions that Black Friday has become extremely extended, extremely extended. I remember I went to Costco, I believe August, and I saw a Christmas tree in August, a Christmas tree at Costco. September. I'm just sitting there like, so what the retailers are doing or extending the black, like I have gotten so many emails, Black Friday specials, Cyber Monday specials, and they've been working on this. So I will agree that they've been extending and extending and extending and making this stuff early, but this doesn't get around the main problem. People don't know how to make money in a bad economy. And this is a persistent problem because with one of the things with the training, I'm gonna be walking people how to set up a YouTube channel and everything. There, there's gonna be a lot, there's gonna be a lot. It, I, I wish I had started taking phone calls and asking people these kind of questions years ago. But one of the things that the average person doesn't know how to do is make money in a bad economy. Thank God I sold the majority of my call cars before the stimulus money ran out. When the, when the stimulus money ran out, man, this, this is like, literally, I can go to any restaurant at any time, never have to wait in line, uh, because there's no stimulus money. There, there's no stimulus money in the economy. We're dealing with the real economy with real people. And I, I'll, I'll share some with you. I've talked to a lot of people and this week I'm gonna even talk to more. And one of the things that I'm consistently seeing is people don't understand the framework to making money. They have good ideals, they have concepts, they have things they wanna do, but they don't know how to actually facilitate that and put this into an online format. And one of the things I consistently heard was passive income. And I had to correct everyone. I was like, this is not passive income. If you set up a YouTube channel, you set up an online course, you do all of those stuff, you are working. This is, there's nothing passive about this. There's nothing passive about it. Now, maybe in the future, once you get some things worked out and then you get it, then it can become passive at that point. But starting out the gate, uh, no, it is not passive. It doesn't um, jump out of here. It doesn't jump out. So with this whole notion that the average person, uh, let's go ahead and talk about problems. The first problem, everybody and their mother is running online. Everybody wants that Wi-Fi bread. Everybody wants to create a Wi-Fi bread product, make this money, make this passive income. Let me go ahead and break down some news for you. Um, 
there's a lot of people coming online. There's, there's a ton of people coming online. And there will be people who will be successful. There will be people who will be able to go out and get the Lambo, and they'll be able to buy their dream house. And that number of people represents, I, I saw this guy on Facebook and he was advertising um, his products. And this is something that I did not know because I don't really communicate and talk to a lot of online um, content creators. I don't, I mean, I don't talk to a lot of online course creators. Do you know that less than 1% of online course creators make money? 1%, I was shocked. I was totally shocked because I didn't know that. Less than 1%. And I can go ahead and tell you with the YouTube channels and here, here's the thing with the YouTube channels. Um, there are people who just come on YouTube who have magnificent personalities and their channel blows up. There's this girl in Florida. She is hilarious. She is funny. She has great camera presence. Uh, she's a beautiful girl. Her channel just blew up because of who she is. So there are people who will come to YouTube who have that God-given talent. I would, I would say what she has is a God-given talent. She's real, I mean, she's hilarious. She's just funny and this is who she is. She's not faking or this isn't a YouTube. That's just who she is and who she is wins on YouTube. So you will have people who will come to YouTube, start a YouTube channel, and it will blow up just based on who they are. Now, do you understand there's less than 60,000 people in the United States that have a channel with 100,000 subscribers? Less than 60,000. There's 360,000 worldwide that have channels with 100,000. That's worldwide. That's not in the United States. So one of the issues that happens is I'm about to go back to, you know, people are doing YouTube videos showing express shots of how they make their coffee. And typically, if I come across a video with someone making their coffee, I'll fast forward past that. I don't wanna, I really don't care about you making your coffee. I don't care about the, how the latte goes. I, I really don't care about that stuff. So essentially, um, you know, I, I had a call first thing this morning, really, really good call. And there's, there's, I'm seeing, cause like I'm, I'm talking to really smart people, uh, hardworking people. And to go back to, you remember the first episode of The Apprentice, the first season. And there was uh, the guy from Chicago and the guy, and the guy said, you know, he's well-educated, he's very smart, but he's unseasoned. And that's where a lot of people are, they're unseasoned. They don't have the seasoning that they need to actually make this thing because, uh, you know, I, I've actually, this weekend, I was sitting down thinking, like last night, I was like, I got like eight pages of notes written out, and now I have a, situation let's call it a situation i actually very much know what i'm going to train people on and this you know i know exactly what i'm going to do how i'm going to do it how i'm going to set it up and one of the things that we're going to do is there's going to be two things there's going to be group training and there's going to be a mentorship now here's the thing with the mentorship there only can be so many people because i'm going to have to be doing work getting on the phone, talking to people and stuff like that. So there's only going to be so much I can do. So many, only a handful of people can get in the mentorship program, but unlimited amount of people getting the group coaching program. So there's going to be a mentorship and there's going to be a group coaching program. And there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about very directly because, um, essentially what I'm going to do is, and I, I can actually tell you this, the mentorship program will be for about two to three months in my mind. I'm seeing two to three months because you don't want to be in the mentorship program forever and forever and ever. So uh, there'll be two to three months and there will be like everyone that called and gave me, they're going to get like a discount. And then we'll go through the whole process of getting them up 
getting stuff established, getting stuff set up. Because once again, the average person doesn't know how to make money in a bad economy. It just, they just don't. And the, the, like I said, the first problem, and this is the first problem. Number one, I need something fast, I need something quick. And we're gonna be talking about that because one of the questions, I was like, you know, when I first started here on YouTube, I didn't make money for four months. How does that sound to you? And I, that's a very real question because, you know, and this is one of the reasons I'm like, keep your job, keep your job, don't quit your job and then go out here and then you're gonna make all this money doing this thing and it doesn't work out. You know, keep your job. And I had, like I said, I had, I had some, I had two calls this morning, two really good calls. And um, one of the things that we're going to actually work on is how to actually build a business. Because that's gonna be part of the training because um, like I said, after a week of calls, and this week could be my second week of calls, I'm getting to a point where I've like ironed out a lot of stuff and it's like, this is how we're gonna train people, this is how we're gonna set people. And the new training is gonna happen at Hustlers Kung Fu Tech. That's where the new training is gonna happen. And it's gonna be very, very different from anything that I've ever done before because I have an understanding of number one, people don't know how to make money in a bad economy. And number two, why people don't know how to make money in a bad economy. Because I'm gonna say it. Yes, I'm a YouTuber, but the falsification. I, I, was, I was having this conversation with an IT professional last week. And I asked him about all of these people on YouTube talking about how you can be a nobody. You could be working at Burger King and then you can go ahead and get this tech job and get a six figure income in like two or three months. He started laughing. He's like, man, those, those people crack me up because you know, he's like, I've been in tech 15 years. It took me 10 years to get to six figures. This is someone who's in tech and I'm just sitting there like, so what you have is a lot of people and I'm gonna do a video on this chick. Um, she's a YouTuber and I think she does a really good job. And her whole thing is she goes ahead and she finds all these YouTubers who put down you can do X and you can make all this money and she actually tries it. And the majority of what she tries doesn't work. It's like, she's like, look, you know, she, she's very, she's smart. <clears throat> she's really smart. She comes off, I got this from someone's channel, I like how they put it out, she doesn't ever demean anyone. And she talks about what she does and how it doesn't work. I'm going to actually put her up there because let's go ahead. The average person doesn't know how to make money in a bad economy. Let's go ahead and actually reshape that. The average person doesn't know how to make money in a good economy. See, the thing is, the economy has nothing to do with it. I know you want to like, well, the economy, well, let me explain what a bad economy is versus a good economy. 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think unemployment was 10%. What does an unemployment rate of 10%? Let's go ahead and say it was 20%. Let's go ahead and push it. Let's say they were reporting that it was 10%, but let's say it was 20%. So unemployment for the fact of this video is 20%. What does that mean? That means that 80% of the people had jobs. That meant that 80% of the people were going to the grocery store. That meant 80% of the people were buying houses. That meant people were buying cars. That meant people were buying TVs. So when you have a segment of the economy that is not doing well, that's a kind of a pullback, but that is not a stop. So you can go ahead and set up a business, you can do things, you can offer products, you can create things in a bad economy and you can make money if you have the right mindset. And one of the things that I'm gonna have people do is, you know, it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be really, really different, but having this understanding that, okay, the economy has taken a few steps back, right? Okay, it's taken a few steps back. 
fine. What are you going to do to make sure that you, from an economic standpoint, begin to take a few steps forward? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to actually move yourself, put yourself in a position where you can actually move forward in the economy, regardless of what the economy is doing? Because like, I'm going to say it, there, there are people out there, just like this girl who set up a YouTube channel. She's hilarious. Um, you know, I, I think she's doing quite well on YouTube. She's just not going to feel the effects of the economy because her YouTube channel is taken off. Uh, she has a personal training business and I think that's doing well. So there are people who are not going to feel or be impacted by what is happening with this bad economy. There are gonna be people who are gonna buy houses. Right now, there are people in this so-called bad economy, this so-called housing crash economy, who are buying houses right now. And it's a bad economy. The mortgage interest rates, I think, went down a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I don't really keep up with that stuff because, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter that, you know, the mortgage rates went up, went out. People are still buying houses. People are buying houses. In this bad economy, in this crazy economy with this inflation, and this is something else too. And I have noticed that people who want to report on the bad economy will use unadulterated language. That's a fancy way to say they're lying. You know, a carton of eggs and a carton of milk, that's a hundred bucks. No, it's not. To get a carton of eggs and you know, how do I know this? I went to the grocery store. I bought the eggs, I bought some milk, it was $8. $8. Yeah, that's higher than it used to be, but I think the eggs were like three bucks and the milk was like four something. Uh, okay, so milk went up, milk was like 350, now it went up to 450, it went up a dollar. People are lying about that. I've seen multiple videos where, you know, to get this, you know, to get a price, get some eggs or something, that's like 200 bucks. Really? I'm like, hmm. So once again, going back to the process of people learning how to make money in a good economy, it's the same as learning how to make money in a bad economy. You still have to do the same things. You have to have a product or service that people want. That's the first thing. And that, that was one of the reasons that I opened up the phones and started talking to people because, you know, I really, really wanted to get some opinions on this next level of training. And one of the things that I am beginning to see is a lot of people are where I was when I was in the military and I was trying to start businesses. They're completely Un unseasoned and they you know like I said I've talked to a lot of people who are who have products uh, I've talked to like four people who have products they don't know how to sell their products they don't know how to sell their products and then when we start having conversations like oh you're gonna do this and they were like oh really and it, it, it just it just gets there because this is last week was a complete illustration of a lot of smart people who do not know how to position themselves, how to sell those things. Then I had someone who wanted to do affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing could be a great way to make money if you already have a crowd or you're already building something. In the beginning stages, if you have no audience, um, you're not gonna make any money with affiliate marketing. You have no, who, who, who's gonna buy what you're selling? You have no audience. So, um, you know, I have made a lot of money through affiliate marketing, but I had an audience and that's going to be something else that we're going to be talking about how to sign up for the affiliate marketing, other stuff. But the real goal is because um, I got some people who are trying to create and sell some. They already have something created and they want to sell it. So I got that group of people and 
Yeah, I mean, this, this is the issue. People do not know how to make money in a bad economy. And then here's the thing that I feel is somewhat dangerous. You'll take someone and they will have a way to make money. They will have a legitimate way to make money, right? And they will put it up on YouTube for free. And in the comments, oh man, thank you. You're a real one. You thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So all of a sudden you have all these people who are flooding into this money-making opportunity. What happens? It is no longer a money-making opportunity. You know, I, I see that um, all of the time because once again, there are a group of people who will take advantage of free content. Very small group of people, but enough people to literally flood something. Cause like uh, this one creator, very, very smart, uh, advertises everything for free. I do this online free, just subscribe and watch. But she makes her money on the back. Uh, there's, there, there's so many ways that she makes money on the back end. But once again, the core problem, the core issue is the average person doesn't know how to make money in a bad economy. And there's so much that goes into that. Uh, there's so much that goes into that. And I would consider that false information is a big, big issue that gets into why people don't know how to make money in a bad econ economy, because there's everyone and their mother out trying to do things to um, get their attention, get their attention. So with this whole situation, you have people who are trying to absolutely own certain industries with free information where they get that money, where they get paid on the back end. And this is why affiliate marketing is so attractive because you just kind of dangle whatever you're trying to push without really selling it. And if a customer clicks the link and buys, you get some commission on the back end. But yeah, that, you know, that's one of the things I really don't talk about because I'll just say it, unless you already have an audience, making money with affiliate marketing is very difficult. It's not impossible, but it's really, really challenging. And that's one of the reasons I never bring it up, but I'll be talking about that in the training because there's ways to set it up. And I'll, I'll even give you this. Do you know you could set up a YouTube channel from Jump to be an affiliate marketing revenue machine? I personally know someone that started a YouTube channel and got a $250,000 check before he made his first video. Because, you know, he went ahead and he explained what the channel was gonna be about, how he was gonna direct it. The company that gave him the $250,000 check was a direct sponsor. So he didn't have any other sponsors. They were a direct sponsor of the channel. And his first year, he pushed close to $5 million worth of business to this company's way. So that 250 was well spent, but it was a plan. And this is some of the stuff that we'll be talking about in the training, things you can do, set up, planning, 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 planning. All right, so if you want to be part of the discount crew, you know, um, the, the phone calls are probably gonna slow up because they're, they're book, I'm booked up I have to look, I know I'm booked up this week and next week is going to get a little slower. So one of the things that you can do is understand is go ahead, set yourself up and get on the list because that list is going to be the list that's going to get the discounts and do the things that you need to do where you can actually win. All right. So you can learn how to make money in a bad economy because I think the economy is going to get worse. I would not be surprised if we have unemployment of six or maybe 8% next year, which is going to be double what it is. But once again, it's not as bad as it was in 2009, 10, 11, and 12. What does that mean? There's opportunities for people who go out and get 
that money. There's opportunities. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.